Welcome to Jessica Stories. This is your Sabbath thought. These thoughts are short and heavily influenced by the Come Follow Me program created by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My hope is that these short messages will prepare your mind and heart for tomorrow's Sabbath worship. Okay, this week we got to read in Jacob and I was quite surprised the scriptures that just kept tugging at my heartstrings this time. And while I love the allegory of the olive tree, I was actually really impressed by what happens at the end of Jacob 2 and at the beginning of Jacob 3. So we learn from Jacob that the people are laboring in iniquity. The, and because of this, he feels compelled to speak to them with boldness. And he really does. He addresses some of their iniquities and their behavior that is very unpleasing to God. At the end of Jacob 2, in verse 35, he says, Behold, ye have done greater iniquities than the Lamanites, our brethren. Ye have broken the hearts of your tender wives and lost the confidence of your children because of your bad examples before them. And the sobbings of their hearts ascend up to God against you. And because of the strictness of the word of God, which cometh down against you, many hearts died, pierced with deep wounds. This scripture gives me hope because most everyone has experienced the wrongdoing of someone else towards them. Obviously, there's lots of different levels of how extreme this could be. But this scripture really helps me remember that God hears my prayers. He says, the sobbings of their hearts ascend up to God against you. When you have been wrong done and you sob up to God and you open your heart and share your feelings, he listens Now, he may not respond the way that you expect him to or in the timeline you expect him to, but he sees your deep, pissed hearts with your deep wounds and he will heal them. And the way he does that is through our Savior, Jesus Christ. And until we are able to kind of really experience the healing power of the atonement, Uh, He gives us some things that we can do to help us get to the place where we can feel the redeeming love of our Savior. And that is in chapter 3, verse 1. So Jacob says, I would speak unto you that are pure in heart. Look up to God with firmness of mind and pray unto him with exceeding faith. And he will console you in your afflictions and he will plead your cause and send down justice upon those who seek your destruction. Oh, all ye that are pure in heart, lift up your heads and receive the pleasing word of God and feast upon his love, for ye may, if your minds are firm, forever. I love this so much. If we can shift our gaze to God and make him the center of every day, make him the focus and pray unto him, Pray unto him when we don't feel like praying. Just pray unto him. We will be blessed and he will console us. And more importantly, he will plead our cause and justice will be made. We are not forgotten. Our prayers are heard. And God is anxiously involved in helping us feel the redeeming power of our Savior. Jesus said, come follow me, take my yoke upon you. You can rest from your labors if you let me walk with you. Come follow, come follow, come follow me today. I will lead you and guide you if you follow me today.